When you're a kid, you don't appreciate how lucky you are to grow up somewhere like Phillip Island. But I just feel it's got this special quality that is immeasurable. I'm Rhys Ulick and I'm a local here on Phillip Island. Hey mate, how are you? Good. I own a business called Island Healing, which is a holistic healing centre. I spent a lot of time travelling throughout USA and Indonesia and definitely felt a calling to come home. People often say when they drive over the bridge they get this sense of calm. I think sometimes we just crave realness in our life and I find it here uh, more so than anywhere. We are sitting in the iconic island surfboards. I think this place has been going since the 70s. One of my first boards, 1995. Yes. Did you glass it? Yes, I did. You've been here a long time. I surf every day. It's my meditation and it's my exercise all at once. I feel so blessed to be able to do that. If I look around at places like forest caves and feel so lucky to be able to dance in nature the way that we get to. The rock stars of the island are undoubtedly the penguin. You can't help but smile when you see those little things waddle up the path. You ready, Marley? Being able to bring my kids to places like the penguins and see it how I saw it as a little kid is, is really rewarding. Look at that penguin. My name's Sophie and I'm a visitor experience ranger here at the Penguin Parade. The rangers are here to count the penguins as they cross the beach each night. We can see anywhere from 500 to 2,000 penguins come out of the beach in summertime and we have the world's biggest colony of little penguins at Phillip Island. The koalas are the lesser known rock stars of Phillip Island. They're probably the bass guitarists, but they're equally as cute. My name is Kim and I'm an education ranger here down at Phillip Island Nature Park's Koala Conservation Reserve. People can come down and see koalas in their natural habitat. There's one the koala there. Yeah. There you go. And a nice little sleep. I would describe koalas as very sleepy, but very, very cute. So they've actually got five digits there, but two of them are thumbs. Why two thumbs? Well, when you're up in a tree, you want to be able to hold on really tight. That's a great answer. <laughs> The family and I actually genuinely do look forward to winter now because we want to see the whales. The indigenous community here believe that the whales have come to help us heal. We're always getting text message alerts and we're racing out to where they are. The Cape Kitchen is an incredible spot to view them from. It's really one of the best vantage points. My name is Nalinda Pereira. I'm the head chef at the Cape Kitchen. The dishes here is modern Australian, all the vegetables coming from the island. We get to see this beautiful view every single day. One of the exciting things about the island is there's some incredible creatives moving down here. Ocean Reach Brewery, these guys have moved down, I think, from Brunswick. Uh, they've really embraced the island, but also brought incredible expertise in what they do. My name's Simon Bismire, and I'm the head brewer here at Ocean Reach Brewing. My partner in crime is my dad. We've been coming to Phillip Island since I was 10, so we thought, what a great place to run a business and grow a small family as well. Real fruit in here? Real fruit. This is really good. It's unlike any view I've ever had. Good. Yeah. I think five years ago I would have said the island struggled to have a good coffee. Now you've got a handful of options. My buddy Jonathan owns G'day Tiger in the Main Street of Cows. Hey mate, how are you? Good. good For me it's about getting the word out as to how much more the island has to offer and I think people are now realising that. There is a saying and a sticker on a lot of people's cars saying, relax, you're on island time. It is a slow pace of life, but I think that's a good thing. There's so much on offer on the island. It's more than just a day trip. Come stay the night, immerse yourself, get on island time.